Family Wellness has been working with local school districts in our elementary schools, bringing healthy cooking to the classrooms. Tori Lee is the community healthy cooking coordinator at Family Wellness, is here to cook a little bit with us. Welcome, yeah, Tori. I'm excited to be here. Absolutely, and I can smell this. It smells <laughs> yummy, but first we've got to talk about what you're doing in the classrooms. You've joined with local um, schools, so tell us what you're doing over there. Yeah, so we're within the Fargo and West Fargo Public School Districts doing fourth and fifth grade, okay. and we go in and we do healthy cooking recipes, trying to teach them, you know, healthy patterns of eating. We go over the My Plate since it's part of their health curriculum, and that just shows the different food groups that they have to have, and each of our recipes goes over one of those food groups. Um, dairy is also one of them, but that's incorporated into all of our recipes, so we're able to get all the groups. Okay, so you're going to do, um, are you, how many how many recipes do you do with these kids? Yeah. Like, how long does this program last in the school? So we go the whole entire year, but each school goes over four recipes, so we're there for four weeks at each school, combining fourth and fifth grade, and once we're finished, we move on to the next school and get to do it all over again. Okay, yeah. and so you're doing a variety of different recipes, so this just happens to be one that you're doing soon this is what we're doing this done? week this this week, week. yeah okay so your kids at home <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna learn to make this yeah. so then when they come home they can teach mom yes <laughs> or grandma or whomever yeah so what are some of the other recipes though that you'll be doing so we've already done a banana berry parfait that okay. was week one um week three is a beef jerky trail mix that which i'm really yummy. excited about that sounds really yeah good. and then our last one is a three ingredient pancake huh okay yeah. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. That's great. Okay, yep. so what are we going to make today? Today we're making a creamy cucumber dill dip. Uh-huh. So what I've already done is roughly chopped up some cucumber and some onion. This is roughly about a half cup. I brought one just to show. Sure. And then we also have some plain Greek yogurt as well as dill spice. And I also brought some pretzels for us to taste. Okay. Yeah, so. This looks so super simple, but I so mean. So simple. So obviously you do teach some skills yes. to these kids mm -hmm. though. So chopping these up, you've already done this. Yes. Ahead of time, but I want to make sure that we mention yeah. that you are teaching them how to use a knife, how to chop things yep. up, correct? Yep, we do have a whole different sheet that goes through all the knife cutting skills that okay. the students will go through. So, you know, dicing, chopping, slicing. Sure. So this is just one of the skills that they would learn as well as measuring, mixing, all those kinds of things. Yeah, all sorts of good stuff because yeah. it's a math lesson when you're really measuring. is, yeah. It took me a long time. Just <laughs> 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 okay, so what, how are we going to do, are we just like dumping? I mean, how does this work? So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our Greek I yogurt. I see a kid doing that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So what we're going to do is start with our Greek yogurt and we're just going to do a whole cup. Okay. So normally you'd have like a pretty solid measurement, but since mm -hmm. this is just a rough one, we're just going to get roughly a cup. Okay. And pour that into our mixing bowl. And then, as I said before, we have about roughly a half cup of cucumbers and red onions. So you're just going to dump those in there. Let's just say somebody doesn't like onion. Yeah. I mean, or, I mean, doesn't want the whole, like, chunks of onion or something like that. I'm, I mean, uh, kids. Yeah. We're thinking kids. Yep. So, on occasion, they might say that. That's true. And you can also substitute red onion for yellow onion or white onion or even maybe do garlic instead or, you know, substitute mm. for a different vegetable that you like since it's pretty, it's a low profile flavor, but sure. different vegetables can add different flavors. So okay. whatever kids like. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That sounds great. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is just take some of our dill spice and we're going to do about half a teaspoon and just sprinkle that over. And then we're just going to go in and give it a good mix. And that's all there is that's to this recipe. That's all there is to this recipe. It's super so simple. How long are you in the classroom then with the kids? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yep, per class. Because chopping things and yep. going over all those lessons makes yeah. a world of difference. Yes. So you're going to have to do this. This is this is actually, check that out. Yeah. I mean, can you tip this bowl yeah. a little forward? Just to see like how chunky this is and <laughs> yummy. Yeah. I mean, I think most everybody loves cucumbers. I mean, that's pretty basic yeah. kind of flavor and so forth, too. So anyway, um, what other types of like things would you recommend? I mean, on for us, for yeah. us as adults, I know as you adults. talked about other different onions and garlic or whatever, as far as like adding to this. Oh, that's good. Like question. a dill dip. Yeah, you can add, you know, any kind of bell peppers would be really good in Ooh, this. That would be yummy. Um, different types of dipping. You could do carrots you know, celery, pita chips, anything can really right. be eaten with this dip. And that's the great thing about it is it's so versatile that you can change up the recipe, add to your own personal recipe, do different spices. So honestly, it gets so customizable. 
that it's just amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. And then obviously kids like pretzels too, so yes. that's an easy one yep. for them to enjoy. So pretzels would be what you would bring in. For the schools, we do more of like carrots and celery to oh, get more do? of those vegetables in. But yeah, for this, since we're on, <laughs> since we're here, well, I thought pretzels would be, yeah, doing pretzels. <laughs> we're doing pretzels. Okay. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, yeah. I'm going to try this because, okay. you know, first of all, what do the kids think about yogurt? So far, the response, they a lot of kids have been hesitant, but they've really honestly kind of liked it. Really? A lot of them are like, you know, onion, not a huge fan, but they're willing to try it. And surprisingly, some of them are like, this is delicious. Others are like, I might not eat it again, but they at least tried it. And that's all I can ask. That's all you can ask. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try you're this ready. too then. Oh, yes. Oh, I even brought all, bowls for you're you. You're going to be all healthy <laughs> and, and sanitary, I should say. <laughs> okay. That's all, all awesome. Right. So um, where can people like sign up? You also do adult classes too, We right? do, we do. Okay. Um, people can sign up at familywellness.org for different classes. We also have volunteer opportunities. If you're really interested in volunteering with healthy cooking, you can also go on to familywellness.org and apply. We can always use more volunteers. The kids really love having, you know, people out in the community encouraging them to try new things. And it just brings family wellness as more of a community everywhere. So it's I awesome. love it. Yeah. I love it. And just teaching our kids too about the healthy eating is fantastic. Yes. And we all need cooking lessons. Yeah. We all need new recipes. So thank you so much. Yes, Tori, thank you so much us. for I having me. We have you back. And yes, I would love to come back. Stuff. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Next on today's show, how breast cancer survivors are helping researchers pave the way for more personalized screenings.